when was that? Preseason, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, the New off season with the whole team. We, you know, it's uh, so yeah. We it's we've been talking about Austin all year and early on. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to feel like home um, because I, I think uh, the energy is going to be very, very high, you know, and um, because I, I feel like everyone is excited. I, I, we're excited to be here, but I feel like people are excited for, uh, to see a game here as well. So um, I think it's going to be very intense. Victor, you're about to close out. The most eye-opening thing about the NBA is you're about to complete one year. The most eye-opening, I would say how um, I would say how the, the best players, you know, they're so consistent, and um, this is the the hard thing I would say being consistent through 82 games, and um, so yeah, the, taking the challenge every night and going and. For the for the superstars in this league, you know, going, working through the the scouting report of their of the opponents, working through pain, working through adversity, it's uh, this is what impressed me. Of course, um, of course, it's it's interesting to me. But um, the the major thing about you know for me, of course, is I'll always be playing the sport. But it's as I said before, I'm you know I'm part of this this journey and this organization 100%. So it's so it's something I I can't you know I I have to take a part on. So it's yeah I'm really interested in it. Victor Austin is known as the live music capital of the world. Have you ever tried any instruments? What is your interest in music? And when you do listen to music, what do you like to listen to? <laughs> um, I mean, I've, I've tried instruments before, of course, but still I, I feel like there's some I want to learn. And um, what kind of music I listen to? Um, uh, a whole lot, you know. It really depends, it really depends on the mood, but I have a very wide variety of music that I listen to. I think the guys that came with Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, we we talked about coming here, and it's. I, I think if, as I said before, everyone's excited to be here. But um, and facing Jokic, of course, is a. Yeah, I mean, very very interesting matchup, and it's somebody I learned a lot from just watching him. So playing against him again is going to be very very. He's gonna. I think he's gonna teach me a lot. Um, what it takes to do that consistently, I think. I mean, first of all, I think we got to be better at every aspect of the game, at least a little bit. And uh, but um, and this goes with you know experience, maturity, and consi consistency is the is is the hard thing. You know, being being uh, present as much facing you know when we have a. Whoever, whoever is in front of us, and uh, you know, we've we've fallen short uh, a lot of times this this season, and also we've we've given up leads quite a bit often. So it's uh, yeah, I would say it's it's mostly mental mentally that we have to to work on. Um, life on the road is has been different from from being home, obviously, but because we have to focus on different things, and um, we have a very very clear routine because everything is, you know, 
adapt in the hotels, for example, and we, we get our, our breakfast at this time and we go work, uh, practice this time. And for the, for the beds, it's, um, I mean, the, it's the Spurs take care of it because they, they ask the hotels to, to put a, like, extension. Good question. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's, it's just to like a, a longer bed. For, for you, we talked the other night about how you have to make adjustments for your body, about like when to take naps, what, you know, eat snacks here or something. What is the biggest adjustment you had to make to make sure your, your, your body is way more sleep? I would say it's sleeping whenever you can, because um, keeping a regular, I mean, uh, consistent sleeping schedule is impossible because one time you're going to have a game at 8 and then, I mean, you just can't, you know, so it's sleeping whenever you can, even though sometimes you, like, I mean, it, and catching up, especially, you know. I remember at the, at the All-Star break, when the one day I didn't put a, an alarm with no practice, I woke up at like 1.30 p.m. <laughs> and, and I didn't know how this, how this happened, so a lot of catching up. Do you sleep well on planes? Or some of the guys sleep yeah. better on planes? Yeah. Not too, not, not too well, but not, not too bad. How does Austin compare to San Antonio's food and culture? Um, different. I still have a lot to learn about Austin, but Coach Bob already gave us a couple of good, a good addresses for dinner. Did you get any other recommendations of what to do in the city? Uh, you know, you're big on breakfast tacos. Do you have any uh, uh, recommendations? Uh, I don't have any spots. But, th I mean, there's a lot of interesting in interesting things in Austin, especially, like, new coming out things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, things are... Uh, I, I, would, I would like to go, for example, see a, a game at the college. Mm -hmm.